What is going on everyone? I am D-Machine and this is a guide on how to watch and understand 3v3 arenas and World of Warcraft for dummies, for filthy casuals, for my mom, whoever you may be, this guide is going to teach you how to understand what is going on when watching this very overwhelming game. So the very first thing you must understand when you're trying to watch 3v3 arenas and WoW is that there is two damage dealers on every team and there is one healer on every team majority of the time uh, each player has abilities on a cooldown timer that can do burst damage or can reduce damage taken uh, we call these abilities offensive and defensive cooldowns so on top of every player getting offensive and defensive cooldowns to do more damage or to prevent damage from coming in each player also have abilities to stop another player from controlling their character for a very limited amount of time of course uh, these abilities are also on a cooldown timer we call these abilities cc which is short for crowd control usually cc is going to be prioritized on the healer of each team to prevent well healing so basically each team are trying to trade their offensive cooldowns and crowd control abilities for the defensive cooldowns of their opponents. Whichever team makes the most amount of efficient trades will come out ahead and usually win the match. But this is World of Warcraft 3v3 Arena and anything can happen. Getting low, now 30%, 20%, does not have a block left, there's the big fear. Drift King's dipping super low and he's gonna go down. Drift oh, Squeaker King though! To fall. Oh, Squeaker the, cross the kill! kill. Oh, we got Killing a 2v2. Three. Oh my god. I'm not Are excited for Prot Warrior me? Druid versus Rogue Druid. <laughs> I'm actually unsure if Prot Warrior even has it. He's going to go down to the revenge and buy wow. it against all odds, man. The Prot Warrior <laughs> comes out on top. So, moving right along, let's talk about team compositions. So, there are 11 classes in World of Warcraft, all with different strengths and weaknesses. But just remember this, that this game is an MMORPG, a role-playing game. There are a lot of classes chosen in this game uh, via personal preference. I personally like Paladins for being awesome warriors of justice, but there's going to be people out there that like playing Druids because they're very one with nature, right? Uh, but 5 out of 11 of these classes can take the role of the healer, but 11 of these classes can all take the role of the damage dealer. So certain classes are just going to work better with each other than others. Uh, finding a strong 3v3 composition is very, very important. When you're forming your 3v3 comp, comp being short for composition, you must understand that your team will have advantages against some compositions, but also disadvantages against others. This is why being familiar with multiple classes can come in handy. So we got all the boring stuff out of the way, the compositions, all that stuff. Now let's take a look at the interface. So looking at this interface at first can be very, very intimidating. Trust me, I know. But after a few minor explanations, you'll know exactly what you're looking at. So first things first, the health bars on either side of the screen represent each team. The health bar that is bigger than the rest are actually the player that the camera is currently following. The health bar that has like a red glow around it means two or more players on the opposing team are targeting them. That's most likely due to that player being focused down by the opposing team. So if you were to look at the bottom of the screen, this is the cooldown tracker. This represents all the offensive and defensive cooldowns of all the players. You don't need to fully understand this tracker to keep up with what's going on in the game. Uh, this can be really intimidating and honestly, this part of the interface is strictly for players that are really familiar with the game. What you really need to keep an eye out for is the icons that show up over the, the class icons or above the health bars of the players. These are the icons that represent really important stuff. Uh, offensive or defensive cooldowns being used or if someone's in a CC like someone's stunned or, or being polymorphed like they're, they're losing control of their character. This is where you can keep track of all that important stuff. So you're probably looking at this interface and you're seeing all the different health bars everywhere and it's a little overwhelming still. So an easy way to determine which player belongs to which team is to look at the color outline. There's two different teams inside of an arena. There's a gold team and a green team. To determine which player belongs to which team, just correspond that color outline of the health bars to the team names at the top of the screen. So that just about covers all the basics. 
Um, but just to recap real quick, there are offensive cooldowns that do big damage. There are defensive cooldowns that reduce damage taken. And then there are crowd controlling abilities, CC, that reduce players control for a short period of time. <laughs> if it seems like there's just too much going on to keep track of everything, you are absolutely correct. It's not possible to keep track of everything. So rely on the commentators to keep you informed on the important stuff. This game is so fast paced and anything can happen in just a few seconds. So that's it for me. That's the whole guide. I hope that this short guide has helped you better understand WoW Arenas. This game can be overwhelming at times, but incredibly fun. I'll see you guys at the tournaments. D-Machine Blastoff.